Nope, nope, nope. nope. <laughs> the key to getting through two a days is to treat it like it's a, it's a, it's a normal one a day. Um, you know, I think our whole message from the very beginning has been in order for us to, to be a good football team, we have to come out here and compete every single day and come out here with the attitude that we're going to give our very best every single day. It's just a lot faster out there. People are getting after running the ball till the echo of the whistle. And uh, it's really nice to see the guys just get out and run. Who wouldn't want to be anywhere else? You know what I'm saying? Right. No school. Just some camp action, a little football. Beautiful day to be alive. We needed to do something differently, and we needed to do something better. And it started with our, you know, our strength and our conditioning, you know, the, the conditions of our bodies. And uh, Coach Sharp and his staff did an unbelievable job through the winter and the spring and, and the summer, obviously, to, to get the guys ready to play football this fall. Hey, check out the flexibility markets. You ready? Oh, you could see it. The guys are working real hard. They, they got their butts kicked this off season. There we go! There we go! Not today! And I think just the mentality, the whole attitude's changed. Like people are really loving playing football, and they want to work at it. So make an effort to once you hit, to then drive your feet. You know what I'm saying? When you hit, your feet freeze. Go, 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 go. There you go. Coach Haynes talks to us all the time about being player motivated and how our attitudes and how our actions on the field have to come directly from the players. And so uh, us as, as a team, we've really stepped up, especially the seniors, to try to take a hold of the young guys and really coach them up. Being able to stay in the moment and be completely and totally involved in whatever it is that you're doing uh, allows you to be much better. And if we're going to perform at a high level, we need everybody to be completely focused when we're out here on the field on, on football. And they've kind of taken it on themselves with a little bit of, of prompting at the beginning uh, to coach each other and stay involved, even if they're, if they're standing on the side, to get involved and, and talk to other guys about what's going on on the field. Every time the play is run, that they take a mental rep and go through their assignment and watch the person that's out on the field go through their assignment. And if they see something uh, that they should have done differently, to grab that person when they come off and coach them. Okay, stick. I see you, baby. It's my fifth year. It's my fifth camp. Um, a lot of it runs together. I would, well, my least favorite part is the bus rides. Cannot stand getting shipped back and forth on that bus. But my favorite part is probably the overall team bonding. Practice is great. I mean, we're hanging out all the time. So hanging out here, hanging out in the dorms, just being able to kick it, you know. Hey, yeah. I don't care what Jordan says about you. Yeah, I heard he says a lot. But you do a great job. Thanks. Both sides of the ball are really trying to beat the other. I mean, in the end, we're all still a team, but when it's team period, guys are getting after it, flying around, and the, as a defense, we're trying to, trying to stop them, shut them down immediately. And it kind of goes back and forth more now than it ever has. It's pretty, we don't have too many one-sided practices. It's pretty even now, back and forth. Kids that grow up in coaching families, you know, they come up understanding the, the things that, that we preach as coaches and, you know, having Nate around, his leadership and his understanding of what we're trying to get accomplished is, is so important. And, you know, he's done a great job, you know, getting the other guys to follow him. You know, that's a huge part of being a leader is you have to be a guy that leads first by example and then second, they'll listen to what you have to say.